In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Java in VS Code. So I'm going to assume that you already have Visual Studio Code installed. If you don't already have this, you can just open up an internet browser and you can head over to this website here, code.visualstudio.com. Now, once you're on this website, you can press the download button to go and install Visual Studio Code. Now, once you have this installed, the next thing we need to do is open up the start menu on your computer, search for the word terminal and click on this window here. You then need to go and type in Java space dash dash version and then go and press enter. Now if you get this message saying that Java is not recognized that's because we need to go and install Java onto our computer. So to do this we can head back over to an internet browser and from this website here code.visualstudio.com we're just going to click on docs from the top navigation. Over in the left hand side, you then need to scroll down and click on Java. You can then press getting started. You can then scroll down and here you'll find the download links for Java. So go and select your operating system. So mine's Windows. I'm going to click on this top one here and that should appear in your downloads folder. So I'm going to click on downloads and then go and open up this executable file. We can now just simply follow the instructions on the screen to go and install this onto our computer. So next to Visual Studio, you can see it will say OK because we already have this installed and now we just need to go and download the Java development kit. So I'm going to press install and then give that a few seconds while it installs onto your system. So once it's finished, we can just go and press the finish button at the bottom. And then what you'll need to do is open up the start menu once again, go and search for the word terminal and click back on this window. Now, once again, type in Java space dash dash version and then press enter. Now you should see this text that basically confirms you have Java installed. So once you see this, you can close out of this window. So now that we have Java installed, we can go and create our first Java project. So I'm going to click on the Explorer button in the top left hand side, and I'm going to select Create Java Project. You can then go and select no build tools and then we need to select a folder where we want to save these Java files to. So I'm going to be creating a new folder by right clicking and selecting new and then I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this Java project. Now once you've created your folder you can simply select it from the list and press open project location. You then need to go and give your Java project a name. So once again I'm just going to call this Java project and then go and press enter. If you get this warning message pop up just make sure to check the box next to trust and click on yes I trust the authors. Now in order to create your first Java file you can click on new file and then you can select new Java file. You can then go and enter your Java code inside of this text editor. Once you're finished, you can go and click on the play button to run and execute the code. And one last thing is if you get this error message saying that the command is not recognized, then you need to go and add Java to the environment variables. Now you can do this just by opening up the start menu, search for the word environment and click on edit environment variables. You can then click on this option here called path and press edit. And then from this window, you'll need to go and add the file directory of Java. So this really depends on where you have it saved on your computer. Now, if you're not sure where Java is saved on your computer, then a quick Google search should be able to help you find this file directory. And once you've added this, you should then be able to run your Java code in Visual Studio. So it's really as simple as that, guys. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.